Maui Police Department's preliminary after-action report on the Lahaina wildfire confirmed most responding officers didn't have basic equipment needed to keep them safe. That's poised to change, but when is there's no timeline for when MPD will distribute safety gear to its officers. Investigative reporter Allison Blair reports. One of the recommendations in that preliminary after action report was to create go bags with personal protective equipment so that officers are prepared in the event of future fires. MPD leadership says the latest county budget does include a funding request for safety gear. Meanwhile, the police union is urging the department to act now. Oh, nice. Body camera video captured August 8th shows the crippling effects smoke had on Maui police officers as they repeatedly risked their safety to protect property and save lives. Come out, come out, come out. Get in. <laughs> they didn't have the proper masks uh, to uh, ensure that they were you know, able to uh, you know, breathe safely. Our expectation is that given that this is a known problem, that it uh, would be solved by now. Nearly a year after the fire, MPD leadership says it's still working to determine what supplies its officers need. In a statement, Assistant Chief Greg Okamoto said, we continue to review the multitude of equipment that the go bags may contain. When asked when officers can expect to receive them, Okamoto told h &M investigates the department's unable to purchase the equipment until the upcoming budget is finalized, funding is confirmed, and proper procurement protocols followed. In its budget proposal, MPD requested a little over $108,000 for the bags, as well as things like no-drip battle dress uniforms, face coverings, and other protective items. With peak fire season approaching, the unions demanded action now. Why are we waiting? We would have expected in this budget for them to make a very big deal about the fact that we're checking this off the list. I know this is the right thing to do for the county. The public deserves to be safe wherever they are, at whatever time of day it is. That's Chief John Pelletier last month advocating for a multi-million dollar night vision helicopter program he claims the department needs. The union questions why the chief didn't approach the council about the need for officer safety equipment with that same passion. The county has access to funding. It's called a contingency budget. In case things come up that they didn't anticipate, they're able to spend that money as soon as possible. We offered the chief an opportunity to respond to the union statements. In an email, Okamoto said the fiscal year 25 budget was turned in months ago. But if we can find available monies in our current fiscal year 24 budget, we will draw from there instead. We wouldn't ask for contingency funding if we can use budgeted monies. The Lahaina wildfire wasn't the first time MPD failed to equip its officers with proper respiratory protection. Complaints were filed with Hawaii's Occupational Safety and Health Division after another fire in 2018 where close to two dozen homes burned. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.